Hey, good morning, everybody. BDO44 coming at you another video. All right, so mid-workout, just had an epiphany. If Rob Polinka is going to ship out the first-round picks that the Lakers have, the objective should definitely be to find another first-round pick coming back in the return. Because the key is for the Lakers to not be left without future assets. Now, in my mind, there's no way for you to recoup the value of the picks that you're shipping out, especially if it's going to be something involving sending out Russell Westbrook. But if you can find a way to get back future assets and whatever your return is, it will soften the blow of having given up those picks. Because the key to it all is that we don't want to be left without anything represented in the future drafts. So finesse a way to make sure that that doesn't happen while getting rid of the picks. I know that sounds like common sense, but I needed to say it. I needed to verbalize it because it hadn't been said on this camera. At the end of the day, we don't want to be left without future assets, but that is something that can be negotiated around if you know what you're doing. And so there are teams out there who need things. It, we need to make sure that we can provide them something. If we're shipping out Russell Westbrook's contract and two picks, chances are there's a chance we can bring back some salary. And if that salary can be attached to a future first round pick i think laker nation will be happy to see a first round pick in return when shipping out those two picks years be damned and you don't worry about that if you're the gm you just make sure that whatever's in that return says first round pick could be a job saving situation there rob bdl 44 thank you all for watching